Naman Manohotre and welcome to the School of Physics. So, today we are going to do work, energy and power in a few minutes. So, let's begin. So, the topic for today is work, energy and power. It is a very very simple and imaginative chapter. A lot of students fear this chapter but I don't know why. This is a very very simple chapter. So, let's begin. So, what is work? Work is force into displacement and this is a dot product which is says f s cos theta as we have studied in vectors so when it is in the same direction the angle between the force and the displacement the angle between the force and the displacement is zero so f s cos theta becomes f into s but what happens when say the displacement is in this direction and the force is in this direction and there is an angle theta in between so what happens is uh, it is it is f s cos theta as you can see here so this is the work now um, suppose the velocity of this block of mass m is v so what is the kinetic energy of this object so the kinetic energy of this object will be half m v square or we can also write it as p square by 2m where p is the momentum where p is the momentum now what about the potential energy potential energy can be in two forms one potential energy can be uh, the spring potential energy and uh, the potential energy caused by the height so potential energy suppose the block is at mass m of mass m at a height h so the potential energy due to height will be mgh suppose there is a spring and we have compressed it to x distance right so we have compressed the spring to x distance so the potential energy of this spring will be half into kx square the potential energy of this spring will be half into kx square now the next thing that we want to see is the work energy theorem now what is the work energy theorem okay so work energy theorem is very simple what you will find in books is bookish language i will teach you work energy theorem in a very different way which you which you might have never seen before because all you will need in this theorem is imagination so suppose there is a block m suppose there is a block m and i have to increase the kinetic energy of this block i have to increase the kinetic and the potential energy of this block so if this is our system if this block is our system so if i say what is the total energy the two type of energies that we have studied is potential energy plus the kinetic energy right so the two type of energies we have studied is potential energy plus the kinetic energy now now if i do work on the system if i do work on the system what will it do what will it do is it will increase the energy of the system the energy of the system will increase so work done on the system is equal to increase in energy which is the increase in the potential energy plus the kinetic energy okay now if your system is doing the work if the system is doing the work so work done by the system what will it do it will decrease the energy work done by the system it will decrease the energy so the decrease in energy which is the potential and the kinetic energy potential and the kinetic energy decrease will be the work done by the system as simple as that you don't have to mug up any formulas it's very simple all that you have to do ki if the energy of the system is increasing then there is some work done on it if the energy of the system is decreasing then there is some work done by the system okay there is another very important formula that for all conservative force most of the forces that you will see in the exams will be conservative force so you don't have to worry you just have to apply this that force conservative force of conservative is equal to minus d u by d x force conservative is equal to minus du by dx where u is the potential energy 
so minus d potential energy upon d distance is equal to force done by the uh, force by the conservative forces is the force by conservative forces okay so the next thing that we are going to see is power so power is what is power so i'll write it down power is equal to power is power is uh, force dot velocity vector power or in simple terms if i say if i have to define what is power power is equal to the work done upon the time taken so suppose i do work 2 work done at time 2 upon work done at time 1 that is change in work or the work done upon t2 by t1 so it is called the power or if we want to say it another language so what is the work done work done is equal to f vector dot s vector right and we are putting a time t like it is the change in work done upon the time taken so it will be equal to f vector dot v vector and this is the power this is the power okay so i hope you enjoyed today's lecture and please subscribe for more videos thank you so much